welcome. My name is Heroin Bob and welcome to Bob Buys, the channel where I share my part-time reselling journey here in the state of Virginia. If you are new here, welcome. We are going to be doing a what sold video for this video. So this is going to be my sales for the week of January 31st to February 6th. I know Moxie, it was a long time ago. I'm just unfortunately gotten a little bit behind on these videos, so I'm going to try to catch us back up. I'm gonna have to space these out a little bit with some listing videos, because I did do a massive pickup. If you don't know who I'm talking to, who is Moxie, it is this wonderful little fur baby here. She appears in a lot of my videos. She is very codependent, so you will just hear her scream throughout most of this video. <laughs> Just so you know. So the first sale I'm gonna share with you guys is this vintage bookmark and pin, cat bookmark and pin on my Etsy store. Uh, this was my only Etsy sale. It sold it to a wonderful subscriber a second. Thank you so very much. She paid $7 for this. I got this at my favorite hole in the wall, new to you thrift store in Williamsburg. I paid 50 cents for this. So I really appreciate the fact that you knew how much I paid for it and you still wanted to buy it anyway. And then, double thank you because now we're moving into ebay and she also purchased this eddie bauer new tags polo i'm guessing it is going to her partner and i super appreciate it again this sold through the global shipping program because she does live in canada second thank you so much for supporting me literally everywhere i really do appreciate you and this and uh if you have received the extra gift i sent you please let me know when you do so that way i made sure it got to you in one piece so this next sale, I was actually really surprised at how fast it sold after I listed it. It took about three weeks to sell, but it's this vintage uh, mid-century tiki decor. It's a fork and spoon. Uh, Ryan and Allie Roots have something similar hanging in their kitchen. And when I realized that when I was watching one of their videos, I was like, all right, that's a sign. I need to get this listed. It's been sitting in my death pile forever. I only paid $4 for this at the DAV and it sold for full asking price of $39.87 and the buyer paid $11 and some change for shipping. This next item is a men's Columbia XL jacket. Uh, it sold for full asking price of $34.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. I got this in a men's thread up box, my first men's thread up box. I still actually have three pieces from that box that I have not listed yet, but I have, as I stated, made well over $100 off of that box. <laughs> it was very, very awesome. I'm very, very pleased with that. And this was a very large bulky piece, so I'm glad to have it out of my inventory system. Um, this next piece is a vintage 90s a loose fit silver tab pair of cargo shorts. Very, very late 90s, early 2000s. If you see silver tab, there is a new silver tab Levi's produced, I believe when they did the, I think in 2019, I don't know, it was like a couple years ago, Levi's brought silver tab back for like one or two seasons. It's like a throwback to their old school silver tab, but most silver tab pieces I find are vintage. Uh, I took a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid for shipping. I paid $2 for these, so I was perfectly happy to see this piece find a new home because I had had it for the last two years. <laughs> this next piece is something that I will never ever buy again. This is something, this is one of the first things I bought when I started reselling and trying to branch out outside of clothing. I bought this Vera Bradley Boule purse. I think I paid like four dollars for it. Uh, I took a best offer of $24.46 uh, with free shipping. It just, it sat for two years. I listed it almost as soon as I got it and it just took forever to sell. So I do not recommend picking up Vera Bradley. I thought that because it was like different Vera Bradley that it would sell better. And I think I picked it up when I looked at comps that like there were good comps for it, but it just sat forever. So I would not recommend buying this again, even though I made a okay profit. This next piece I got in uh, the thread up DIY t-shirt box that I picked up. This is a Simply Southern piece. $9.99. I took an offer on it with free shipping. Super happy to see it go so fast. I was actually really surprised from this box. The pieces that sold the fastest were the ones I thought I'd hold on to the longest, except for that uh, merino base layer. 
But I was really happy to take this uh, offer for $9.99 and I actually did donate 10% of the proceeds to the Hurricane Relief Fund because I felt like I should since that's what the shirt was originally for anyway. So, you know, I only made like a couple dollars on it, but I only paid like a dollar for it anyway. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, this next piece is a vintage Colonial Disney Mickey Mouse. I don't do plush often. Uh, the reason why I picked this up is it came in a lot with one other Mickey Mouse plush and one other like a Paddington Bear, a vintage Paddington Bear. I paid a dollar for all three of them because it was an online auction at the beginning of quarantine. So I was more than happy to take an offer of $15 with free shipping because it cost like three dollars to ship so very very happy to turn a few cents into ten dollars so this next piece you guys know i love restaurant wear the thrift stores in my area do have a tendency to smash and trash things if they don't sell within a certain amount of time it makes me very sad so whenever i see most of the time when i see restaurant wear in the thrift stores in my area that's in good condition i do try to pick it up so that way i can help it find a new home because it is a part of american material history or at least that's my opinion i took a best offer of four dollars but the buyer paid fifteen dollars and twenty cents to ship this to california so they paid four dollars for the piece but fifteen dollars for shipping for it like they really wanted this it was an eight and a half inch platter like an oval platter so my guess is based on where it was going, it was going to be some kind of like, it was either a very big collector of this particular pattern or they were gonna use it as a prop. So I was really happy I paid a dollar for it. So I didn't make much from it. Uh, I think I made as much on the shipping as I did on the sale of the item. So, but I'm really happy that another piece is off to a new home. So this next piece is this Nike scarf i think i paid like a dollar for it at the chkd is from the 2010 world cup in australia uh the buyer paid eleven dollars 97 cents plus shipping they also whenever i send anything that is soft so like anytime i send any plush or any type of clothing i put one of my old business cards in it with like a thank you handwritten thank you on it and this person like messaged me on my other Instagram account, not my reselling Instagram account, because that's the one that's on my old business cards. And they're like, do you have any other soccer scarves? Because I collect them, and if you get any more, please let me know, I would love to purchase them from you, because you have such reasonable prices. And I was like, no, I fortunately, this is the only soccer scarf I have. I'm not going to have any more football scarves until, you know, the world opens back up and I can source them in other places, because, you know, football isn't, Unless it's American football. Football isn't something that Americans really like a whole lot once they become adults. <laughs> so this next piece is a Forever 21 piece. I am so sad. Anytime I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to, this thing, I really like this. So I'm just going to wear it until it sells, thinking that I'm going to get to wear it. This piece sold so fast. It was a Forever 21, like, men's extra small. Uh like roses on the sleeve crew neck sweatshirt. It fit me beautifully, just a little bit oversized, but like the comfy oversized. And as like the day after I listed it, it sold for $14, best offer free shipping. Uh, I, I got it in the men's box. So I was the, the most recent men's box. So I thought I was gonna sit on it for a while because it's a men's extra small and it sold like right away. I, re I marked it for like 1687 or something like that because it's forever 21. So I knew it wouldn't have been that expensive to begin with. And it was a really small size for men. So really happy to see this go. And then also kind of sad because I never got to wear it. Uh, this next piece also came in that same men's box. Uh, it's a pair of Converse in a size a 10 and a half and I knew that these would probably be one of the first things to sell from that box, which is why I made sure to list it because these were already really, really clean. I only had to do a little bit of scrubbing on the toe to get them really cleaned up. And they sold for best offer of $25 with free shipping. So I'm already making money on that box, but you guys uh, know I have a lot of men's I need to list, including some pieces from that box. Okay, so this next item is a little weird. Uh, I picked this up for myself and then like, Shortly after I bought this item, my partner gave me a switch. So I really wasn't using my 3DS anymore. Uh, <laughs> so I actually had it new seal 
in in the box and it was like just sitting on my coffee stand in my kitchen just brand new in the package just staring at me every day when I went and had coffee I don't know why I thought that I eventually was gonna get to it but then after like a year of staring at it I was like all right I just need to list you and then I looked at comps and what <laughs> so this game this uh dragon quest 7 fragments of whatever i picked it up i think for like 20 dollars at walmart and it sold for my full asking price of 59.87 as soon as i listed i was getting like lower offers of 40 dollars, and i was just like no because i was when i looked comps it was selling consistently between 60 and like 80 dollars. so i listed it on the lower end because i wanted a quick sale and it it sold that day for like 50 like my full asking price of 59.87 so if you see this game new it sells for good money also the used ones also sell for good money they sell around that 40 dollar range so this is definitely a ds game to look up and look out for all right and my last ebay sell is this pair of coach shoes so again my listing videos are awesome because it is getting the stuff out of my house I got these in a thread up DIY shoe box and I took a best offer of $26 with free shipping. They already left me positive feedback. They said it was great. I actually had a whole bunch of the real real bags um, sitting around so I just put the coach shoes in the real real bag like the dust bag and they were like oh it was so nice that I got a dust bag and they were like they sent me a message and they were so happy. So I was just really happy to see these go because they had been sitting in my death pile for a really long time. But those are the things I sold. So all in all, I sold, I think, 14 things for the week of January 30th to February 6th. They were really good sales. Again, it was a lot of stuff from my listing videos. So if you list it, it will sell. I'd personally like to thank all 1,011 of my subscribers. I don't have to worry about the upside down with you guys here with me. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye. I didn't pull up my sails before I started filming. Excuse me.